Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Tokyo Gore Police. Tokyo is burning. Directed by Yoshihiro Nishimura, starring Eihi Shina, Itsuji Itao, and Shun Sugata. The movie's about Ruka, who's part of the Tokyo Gore Police. Basically, there are these mutants called engineers, and she is the best engineer hunter out there. As well, she's seeking revenge for her father. This is a Patreon Baller Club recommendation, the BBC, if you will, from Anthony Michelli. Tokyo Gore Police is one of those wild ones. If you've seen Machine Girl, you kind of know what you're getting into here with the Japanese stuff. He's been waiting quite some time for this, and so have I. Well, what do we like, guys? Obviously, just judging by the title, the best part of this film is the gore. It is a splatter fest. Like, huge practical effects, exploding body parts. It just doesn't stop. Just fountains of blood all the time. It plays out exactly how you think it might play out. Kind of like an anime, kind of like a video game. Every Every single thing is way over the top. Yep. Way more than I thought it was gonna be. Something only the Japanese can do. Anything in this film is just like cranked up to 11. Right off the bat, you kind of know what movie you're in. You're like, wow, wow, that was crazy. And that's not the only time you're gonna say that. Even till the last scene in the movie, we're like, wow, what the fuck? Every single thing, they're just like amping it up a little bit. And it's just so fucking weird. So all these different engineers have different looks and abilities. Like we've got that snail girl, big fan of teeth titty girl. <laughs> she's known as crocodile girl. That's what she's credited as anyway. You mean you didn't love the chair? There's a chair that legit was a fucking squirter and people were like down to bang it. Like they were into it. And if you were an engineer, you'd probably be Dick Boy. Dick Boy is probably my favorite engineer. Yeah, he was something else. For sure something else. Didn't expect that. Would you want to be Dick Boy, Frank? No! <laughs> Why? God, no. Well, you'd have this massive cannon of a dick. I'm gonna say I don't think it's for pleasure. It is definitely more for violence yes. as it is a gun. Some people might find pleasure in the violence. Oh, Frank's exposing his deep no, inner No, 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 no. He's about dick violence, is no, I think. No, I'm just saying there's some people out there, <laughs> not not me. Don't listen to these guys. You don't want a dick cannon or you do? I don't. Don't want to, no. Normal, normal is fine for me. He's nothing but normal. Moving on, please. I think Ruka was a badass bitch. She's a baddie. That's it, straight up. Like, she just did cool shit. She might, like, have a conversation with someone for a length of time and she'll decipher, download all the information, and if she doesn't like it, she'll split you right in half. Yeah. She looks great doing it, and it's always enjoyable. And I like when she looked like her car Oshida when she was taking the subway. That was a cool outfit. I, I enjoyed the score in this movie. It was very reminiscent of the strong song in Naruto that really gets you going. <laughs> Just like the look of things. Because you have such weird shit happening all the time, you have blood spraying and just weird creatures and just random stuff. Everything just like looks great. For example, when Ruka cuts the guy's arms off, it's fantastic. It's just very aesthetically pleasing. I like, they did a lot of that though, where it's spraying out like a sprinkler everywhere. It was good. I also enjoyed the humor of this film because it was very self-aware and the comedy was there, especially with the one scene where, who will turn out to be Dick Boy, when he's fighting Crocodile Girl and he just like grabs his arm with the gun and you just see the tenon and he pulls it to like blow her up like that kind of stuff was very over the top but absolutely hilarious for me i mean i i, I just liked how it really made me feel like i was watching like an anime like I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of anime and then just how it started and everything it's just it's like okay I, i'm used to this so i can i can get right into it but uh, i i don't know i just i it had that kind of same format I'd see. So now, what didn't we like? For one, I liked how it opened, but then as it went on, it was just more completely like in, in cohesive. Like, <laughs> yep. like, why is this happening? Wait, what's this? Like it, just things all over the place and they would cut in between to like commercials in a sense. <laughs> hey, the commercials were kind of They cool. were, they were good. But it's just like, why are you placing that here now all of a sudden? Yeah, I think what was also confusing is the fact that there was no like direct thing to say like, hey, it's a commercial mm -hmm. thing. Like if you had a static transition that 
made it evident that we were now in a commercial. But because the commercials all look like what basically their <laughs> real world, yeah. you and don't they, know. Even it was the first one, the first one that showed up where it's just the, the office worker talking about like, oh, oh, you did a bad job. You got to commit to... Uh, seppuku. Seppuku. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's just like, oh, okay, what's, what's going on? And then boom. Oh, suicide's bad, by the way. It's like, oh, okay. Yet they're constantly promoting cutting. That was, I think that was the best commercial. Yay! Cutting! there are also times where they would cut to like a scene and I'm like, is this one of those commercials or is it not? Because it has a different color grading, mm -hmm. but I had no idea if it was a flashback, a commercial, or who the fuck we're looking at. And I still don't know. It was a fun fight, but I don't know what that was. The story is very weak. I mean, you're going into this not for a story, but it is worth noting that it's kind of cookie cutter and they went the easy way out with a revenge story. It was just too wacky to really care about any characters. And when you're trying to figure out, well, why are these engineers the way they are? Like, why is the police ready to kill every citizen in Tokyo? Like, what is everyone's motive behind this? And you get a little exposition, but at the same time, you're watching this whole movie and that's not the focus. So it really is just a splatter fest. I like the splatter, but it definitely needs a story to back it up. I think one of the big issues that I had was kind of related to the story. The fact that there's a very large chunk where we don't have Ruka involved. Like, I really like our main character. And then she kind of disappears for about half an hour, and then they come back. I wanted her in all the scenes. Well, Every even, single scene, damn Even it. during a lot of that, too, there was like almost no major dialogue even. Just small little things, if that, so. That's a, a perk to some. Because <laughs> you're watching this subtitled, there's very little dialogue, so you don't have to read that much. But the fact that there isn't a ton of dialogue is just like, oh, these people ran into each other, now they're fighting. And while the fight scenes are cool, there's some unexplained things. <laughs> this is very small. Small, but I guess some of the uh, things I, I didn't care for was for the engineers when, like the very first one you see, they're prepping going into the fight and he's just like twirling around yeah, and doing the leather the chainsaw face. for whatever reason. It's like the frame rate is really weird in a lot of situations because they either speed it up or they slow something down that wasn't shot in slow-mo. So the slow motion looks like shit, and then the fast motion also looks like shit because it's just a bunch of jump cuts, and it just feels awkward. And as much as we praise the practical effects, a lot of the digital effects were very, very cheesy, especially <laughs> the end fight with the commissioner when he literally reminded me of, like, Luffy's Gear 4 Bounce Man when he's just, like, flying in the air, <laughs> just shooting blood. It just looked very bad. And I thought that was hilarious. And now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. This movie was a wild time. I half expected it. I didn't think it would be as over the top as it was, but it also didn't shock me. They really just like pushed it crazier and crazier throughout the movie, which is great. There was tons of blood. There's lots of gore. So we had really creative engineers or mutants. And I generally like the idea of higher power hating on mutants. That's why I like the X-Men franchise. Basically the same story, just told worse. I know it's supposed to be crazy and over the top, but there is definitely a disconnect with the characters because you don't really care that much if people get hurt, other than Ruka. Like, so you have no feelings for anyone else, and that's fine, but it's also not fine. It's a weird ass movie and it's really hard to describe what I liked and disliked about it. So this is a fairly shitty review from myself and I'm sorry for that, but I'm giving this three and a half real life fruit ninjas out of five. Where do I begin? I did quite enjoy it. It does have some really cool shots and scenes. The practical effects were well done. I did enjoy them. The gore, the blood's line everywhere, fantastic. Couldn't stand the one battle theme, I'm sorry. Overall, story-wise, yeah, it's just kind of all over the place. Over the top, which is fantastic though. Generally though, I, I did enjoy this movie. And I mean, being uh, especially Asian cinema, Japanese specifically, yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. So overall though, I'm gonna give this three flying fingers out of five. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to really talk negatively about this film because you know what you're getting into. I know that the story sucks because it's all over the place, but when you're watching it, you're gonna have a great time because the kills are great, the costumes are great, the choreography with the fight scenes is just a lot of fun. This movie is just a wild, 
crazy gore fest. It's a fun time. I do recommend it, especially if you're a fan of like video games and anime because that's exactly what this is. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film four rocket jumps out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you have any, you do want to check it out. Links are in the description. And if you want the opportunity to recommend a movie for us to review, Link is also in the description to our Patreon. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything Bloodbath and beyond.